Just a few days ago, Samsung unveiled their foldable phone, the Galaxy Flex or Fold, which to be honest, looked pretty damn good. But just recently, Huawei flexed their new take on this whole foldable trend with their Mate X, and they've got me excited. What's good, people? I'm Getty Machete. Here we focus on all things tech. If that's something you're into, go down to that subscribe button and hip thrust that piece until you snap it in half. And while you're down there, hit that notification bell too. We have an awesome community and I would love for you to be a part of it. Okay, so not too long ago, foldable phones were just straight out of the future and something that I didn't really see being a reality anytime soon. Even with all those foldable screen patents being filed a few years back, I just couldn't picture them being here today. I mean, I laughed my ass off when I saw the first foldable phone by Royal. I wouldn't even really call that phone foldable. Uh, it's more of a phone that can bend to a degree, but calling it foldable was kind of a stretch, and that thing was just awful waffle. But Royal, I guess, just wanted dibs on releasing the world's first foldable phone. So you can see why this whole idea was just so far-fetched to me. Now, I'm definitely one of those people that want my device to look good, and a lot of these foldable phones just don't. Uh, until now, man, Huawei, more like Wow May. Am I right? Uh, no? I'll see myself out. Uh, seriously though, the Mate X looks so freaking sexy. Everyone's in a rush to make a true bezel-less phone, and I'm just here pouring excitement over the Mate X and how futuristically gorgeous this device is. It's exactly why I love technology so much. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, just because the Mate X and a few other foldables look really nice doesn't mean the experience is gonna match. I still think we need like two to four years for these foldables to age well. The software is something that's gonna take some time to properly adapt to this new breed of devices. Although Google has stated that Android will natively support foldables, it's still something that developers have to build their app around, and you already know how Android has been with software optimization with tablets, so my expectations are pretty low as of now. Uh, another thing that has me on the fence, so to speak, is the materials. There's a ton of questions there. Are these foldables going to be primarily plastic? Because if so, they're going to feel cheap. And I know for me, I can't go back to using a plastic device. I mean, how well can they actually hold up to drops and repeated opening and closing of the device? Uh, battery life is also worrisome. You have these thin devices, right, with giant secondary displays. I can only imagine how that will affect battery life drastically, so how will manufacturers tackle that? These are all questions that I want answers to, and they'll be answered in time. One question I can't answer for myself, though, that I've seen thrown out there a few times is, who wants this? Who wants to have to unfold their phone every single day? And my answer to that is, you don't have to unfold it every day, right? Unfold it when you want to, when you need a bigger screen, when you want a tablet, not a phone. Uh, that's the beauty here. You know, I can see foldables getting so good to where I don't have to carry two devices like my iPad and my iPhone together, but instead as one that fits right in my pocket. So I'm all for it. And I do think that this is the future of smartphones. In the next five years, I can see foldables being the norm. What do you think though? Are you for it? Do you think it's a gimmick? Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. I love hearing from you. If you disliked the video, hit that dislike button twice. Let me know what it could have done differently. If you haven't yet, check out some other content. Consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it greatly. I'm signing off.